Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Crybaby. We back in the building with Paparazzi TV. And I got Gia the Alpha and Flashy Hundo in the building. What's up? So, we're going to talk a little bit about both of them together as well as individual artists. But we're going to start off with Gia first, all right? So, talking to you, I see that you're pushing a late single with Alexa. Yes, yes, yes. How was shooting that video and making that song? Like, how was that? creative uh session or however you would call that it was really simple we had um luxury sprinters pull up with the truck we was just it was everything came out smooth we came with the baddies we was outside we was having fun it was just good vibes so it was definitely one of those yes i really like mess with that vibe like you guys going tit for tat is really it gives very much city girl new york like we out here we Mm. outside you feel me like we bad bitches but we carry we carry the weight out here. You yeah. feel me? So definitely tap into that. And do you got anything else in the works? Like, what else are you pushing? Well, I'm actually about to drop my video, The Alpha, which you guys can stay tuned to because it's about to be a movie. We got the brats outside. Oh, yes. It's lit. So. Okay, so you're dropping a video to that. Yes, I'm dropping a video. I already dropped it on my EP. So Okay, so this the, the song is out on the EP. What's the EP called and where can they find it? Age of Aquarius, y'all can find it on all platforms. Because, you know, if you're an artist, you got to be on all platforms. Like Yes, <laughs> seriously, all platforms, guys. You mm-hmm. hear her. So you said Age of an Aquarius? Yes, it was just, you know, it's Aquarius vibes. Last year, it was about Aquarius. So, you know, we got to give it up, you know. Are you, an Aquarius? Aquarius. Are you an Aquarius? Of course. Oh, my God, me too. That's awesome. That's so cool. To, it's a vibe. Yes, it's a vibe all the time. Period. Yeah. So that's definitely cool. What would you say uh, that album or EP, like, what is the vibe of it? What would you say? I say it's just me, like, talking my shit. Like, just talking about how I feel, how I look at things. And it's just like a, just a preview of what's about to go even more viral. Okay, okay. So I'm fucking with it. So I'm fucking with everything that you got going on right now. Thank so guys, like, keep mm-hmm. up with Miss Gia the Alpha. So where can they find you? You said um, the age of an Aquarius, right? Out on all platforms. Check that out. EP album. Yes. And it's just Gia the Alpha. G-I-A-A-D-A Alpha. And I am looking into an album, but we can wait. Everything's going to take a little Everything spin. comes mm-hmm, at yeah. its own time. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. That's beautiful. Okay, so... Shifting the conversation to Mr. Flashy over here, right? So what you got going on? You can you can pass it. You get it. So what you got going on? I mean, I got a lot going on for, you know, it's not it's not just on one genre or like, you know, one thought. Like I got a lot of things I want to put out in different ways. So it's going to be big. Okay, I hear not one genre. What do you What do you mean by that? So you're doing a little bit of rap. Yeah, do you sing? I got, I got rap. I, I mean, I I sing not not to like you know, the singer's extent. I'm not a singer. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, but I do sing. I got some melodic in me. I got you know. I feel like Caribbean vibes. And I got some Spanglish vibes coming out, you know, so we going up with that one. You know okay, that? okay, Spanglish yeah. vibes. Now, I know you guys came in today to push y'all single spin. It's more yeah. of a drill vibe, right? That's a fact. Is that more like your scene or is that more Gia's scene? I ain't going to lie, it's more my scene, you know? Okay, she, okay. But she got it in her, so it's like Hell it yeah. comes naturally. <laughs> yeah, everything come natural. Yeah, I definitely love the vibe that these two gave together on the song. You guys yeah. are definitely did y'all thing. Um, and the look is very, very cohesive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I right. saw, I was doing my little research, and I had to ask before the interview, are you guys siblings? Yeah, and yeah, we get that a lot. Yeah, that's actually awesome to have, you know, like, work with your with your mm-hmm. sibling. Like, yo, super fire dynamic that they got going on. So, yeah, you're very we welcome. We also trying to take that somewhere, you know. But, like, since we all got, like, we got a lot going on, right. we're going to do it how it come. Right, you know, not not a lot of people have, come. yeah, not a lot of people have a second person to have that type of dynamic with, you know. Yeah. Like, it's like, comes one comes both of us you feel me like with him comes me and with her comes him you know what i'm mm-hmm. saying like you never see each other apart and that's a that's a beautiful thing to come up with because you guys are individual artists but together you guys are a powerful ass force you know like definitely, that's definitely. super dope super super dope so how was the video creation for you 
we spin spin was like a movie you know what i'm saying all we do is spin we like make movies all day i ain't gonna lie it was it was actually um different to me because i like the art and that's what popped out to me in the video so when i when i had that i'm like yeah that's gonna catch your attention you know what i'm right, saying everybody right. ain't gonna feel like everybody not gonna see the vision you see as an artist so okay okay and shifting it back to g <laughs> a little bit how was that video creation for you <laughs> It was really, like, it was fun um, having everybody come out, and I was able to get my makeup done. I, like, had to come after getting my hair done to go get my face made, all done up for the video where we was at on set, so that was something that was amazing. It was a good vibe, then we headed to the city, and it was just people just loving it. That's actually awesome. Yes. That's awesome. We're pretty bitch vibes, period. Yeah, it was just vibes. <laughs> like, you know, everybody came out who was supposed to be there, and whoever wasn't there, I guess you wasn't supposed to be there. And Flashy said the drill is more his scene, but how how do you feel in the drill scene? Like, how do you incorporate yourself in female hip hop today? I just feel like I mean I definitely fuck with the, you know all the drill rappers, so you know, but that's one thing. So they really you know they on top whatever, mm -hmm. you know we gonna let them do their thing at the end of the right, day. Right, right. But um, I feel like I've always been around that and seeing like all the the process of drill coming about and mm -hmm. all the all these artists, the rising artists and stuff. So it's something I was able to see and be like, nah, it's lit. Like I fuck with this. I can definitely hop on this. Yeah, I could definitely hop on it. It's just a vibe. But like you know, I'm on so let's get money, let's chill, let's have a vibe. Like that's my shit. Like or like I sing or whatever, give you a vibe. Maybe talk about a guy, whatever. Talk about whatever's going on. But that, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. So, where would you say your sound is? Where were you? Where can you place your sound within the industry? Would you say it's more, more rap? Would you say it's more sing? Would you say you do everything? Like, how how would you describe your sound in the industry today? Like, where would you place yourself? Well, I think I just I'm just a whole different type of artist. Like, I'm an artist. I don't box in. I don't do boxes. We don't do that. Period. We just live in and we we doing what we do. Like, so and then if it resonates and I could feel for it, that's what I'm gonna do because that's how we move. That's what we like to yeah. hear. We don't put artists in boxes because artists do it all. All because we all do it all. So period. Right period. And I want to know <laughs> what inspires your artistry. Uh, I think it's just growing up, and I used to write little songs or whatever. I used to, like, love watching Disney Channel, which, you know, I don't know how I regret watching Disney Channel now, but <laughs> I just feel like that is really, like, I see Hannah Montana, and I'm like, this is what I want to do. I ain't know what it was to be an artist. I know, but I was like, that's what she doing right there. That's what I want to do. So right. that, like, you know, that was, like, one of my things I knew, and then I would, like, dress up and play acts at home. Like, I love just industry stuff, creative, like just right, being creative. showing your mindset of how you're doing things and how you want to output some things, just like how I direct my videos and all these oh, things. Oh, that's you know? awesome. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing to hear. Beautiful to hear, especially be coming from a woman. You know, I feel like women are running the industry right now. We're freaking killing shit. No offense to no, you, Flashy. Yeah. No, you're yeah, probably... Yeah, doing your thing. He's probably got a very long career ahead of him and you know what matter of fact not probably he does but you know what yeah. we definitely are killing shit in the industry right now and let me yeah, tell yeah. you sure. um together you guys can skyrocket up so i cannot wait to see that yes i can't either and i love your positive vibes thank, thank you, you. You, know, you know yes we got to bring that positivity i feel like there's not enough of that positivity in the industry you know what i'm saying we're all sharks we're all trying to get to the meat and trying to eat but guess what like we're not eating at the same, like, pace. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And not only that, but, like, we're not all in the same lane. So you like steak, I like chicken, and you might like a different type of fish. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, if we're all helping each other eat, like, we all going to have a meal. You yeah, know what exactly. I mean? And it's, it's just you just spread the love, spread the positivity, and I feel like we definitely need more of that as artists. Mm -hmm. You know, being, being in the same areas, the same parties, the same shows, the same, you know, just events, period, like, we need to spread the love. How do y'all feel about that? Yeah, I think, you know, spreading the love. I think peace and showing different stuff because I feel like a lot of people, they don't really promote the good. So I like positive vibes, giving that natural healing shit, like really getting in tune with people because they, honestly, they be like, oh, I'm in tune. You not. You, I mean, I feel like, you know, everybody needs to just help each other. We all win. So you talented, you could do this. I'll do this. We right. do this and we're going to come up and... 
No one should be starving. No one's going to be hungry. Right. And how about you, Flashy? I also feel the same way. I feel like nowadays a lot of people want to be envious. They don't want to um, team up. They don't want to um, grow together. They just want to um, do their own thing. And it's like, it's not a bad thing. Everybody want to make it. But it, I think it would be quicker if we all did it together. And then it's like, it's like people from the same borough, you know? How you going to do that with the same borough? Like, it don't even make sense. Exactly. So it's exactly. like when people could put their pride aside and they could actually get together and do things as it don't got to be family, you know what I'm saying? It could be people trying to get to where they want to be, get to their goals together. You know what I'm saying? And that's why, like, that's why I fuck with Brooklyn. Because at the end of the day, I'm from Queens. I was born in Brooklyn, though, moved yeah. when I was a little girl. But at the end of the day, Brooklyn is where it's at. We hype each yeah. other up. We make moves. Like, you do this, we do this. I do it all. Let's do it all. Like, that's how it rocks, and that's why I fuck with it, and that's what I've been rocking, too. So. Hold up. To the streets where I move like a stitch in the cuff. You front through, we lifting them up. You and me, then you know if it's something that's stuck. If you clutch, you get put in a blunt. Got a kid now, I'm moving too different. You play with my kid, I'ma go on the hunt. Still 550 and no give a fuck. If you banging it, throw that shit up. Been maneuvering different, I'm all about chicken. You know we gon' run this shit up. I've been fucking with niggas who fucking with me, so I ain't been fucking with them. Don't be trusting a nigga, and everyone got it, so nigga go get you a gun. On the net, they gon' talk like they tough. But in person, I bet you he run. He say it's shit, so how you gon' man? It's she the alpha, if I send a shot, you know it's gon' hit Not no rumors, I'm all about action, yeah, it can get lit For the family, I'm spinning the block for whatever he say, you get left in the shit Got him running like